Okay guys, welcome back to another video in the FC. Today we are changing the spark plugs and the ignition coils because last time we drove we had some misfiring issues and yeah, let's go! Come on! So here we got the spark plugs and the ignition coils and now we need to change this. So at this point we're just going to start to disassemble the old ignition coils and after that we're going to put the new ones in. kick so we have two coils one for the leading and one for the uh, trailing spark plugs and yeah that's the old ones they looked kind of fucked oh, yeah. yeah and that's the new ones Very good. Very good. Now we need to remove the contact pads from the old uh, ignition coils and put it on the new ones. But make sure if you do that, that you clean the contacts pretty good because sometimes they're really really dirty and oxidated and you can do this with the wire brush as I do or you can do it with sandpaper as well just just clean them up that's the important thing Then you just put it back together. The blue ones are the trailing ones and the black ones are the leading plugs. Just put this back together. Very good. Then you put here the blue ones on. Thank <laughs> you. 
change the coils, uh, the spark plugs. Now we're gonna change the spark plugs. Uh, the blue ones are on top and the black ones are on the bottom. I always remember that because uh, leading is lower and trailing is top. So it's always easy to remember. On this particular engine, the spark plugs are easy to change because you can reach them from the side and on this rotary engine it has four spark plugs and they are uh, threaded in on the side of the engine unlike most of the normal engines where the spark plugs are always on top of the engine and yeah, it's a pretty easy job if you know where to look for them Okay, here are the old ones don't even look so bad New ones, they look a bit different. Yeah, and we got BUR7EQ for the lower ones, for the leading ones, and uh, BR. 9 EQ for the top ones for the trailing. At this point we put everything back together and then we took the car for a test drive and we still had the misfiring issue. After that we replaced the ignition wires but that we don't have in video and after that we also replaced the fuel pump and that you can see in another video of the channel and yeah thanks for watching and leave a like and a comment.